This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. This evening's special After Hours guest is Don Park. Don P. Don P. Hello. Don P. Don P. So nice to say it twice. And in the studio audience, we have Brian Stearns. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Yay, me! Yay! Oh. Do we have like a mini oh. studio audience? Yay! Oh, that's not bad. That doesn't sound too bad. The almonds are clapping. <laughs> so, before we do anything else, there are two important things that we have to talk about. <laughs> the first thing is, why do you have to mow your lawn barefoot? Oh, I love mowing my lawn barefoot. Mowing your lawn barefoot means that you know what's in your lawn. To me, to wear shoes separates you from your lawn in an unhealthy way. I like Okay, that's just gross. Okay. Hey, 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 wait. That's really wait, gross. Wait, 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 wait. When I mowed my lawn when I was a kid, it was slugs in the lawn, and that's really gross. <laughs> ew, 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 yeah, Exactly. Ew. Okay, first of all, now I'm... This is upsetting to me because I like to walk on my lawn barefoot. Mm-hmm. I often wear my shoes out into the backyard and then take them off when I get Isn't near that the a lawn great feeling? and walk around on my lawn. However, I really like having toes. All why ten would, of them. Why would you, mowing your lawn put your toes at risk? Because people run over their feet with the lawnmower. Uh, only uncoordinated people. <laughs> is this a Portland tech legend? I mean, you mowing your lawn with your bare feet. I've seen and it. Everyone with my own two eyes. Well, did you only, record it? I only is did it, it, is it actually up on Ustream no, that you can no, actually do the replay? That was before I learned how to record things oh, on Ustream. Oh, darn. Uh, and, and I haven't mean to mow my lawn but for months. You know, the grass goes dormant. And, uh, Correct. The only so you to... always mow your lawn barefoot? Mostly. Not always, but mostly. It's very scary for me. Really? I'm it's, afraid um, you're going to lose some toes. No, but it feels so good. I have to step in here just for the chat room. Um, not that they brought this up, but just because they're the chat room's kind of an impressionable group. And I want to say, Strange Love Live does not condone mowing the lawn <laughs> in bare feet. Strange Do not Love try Live this at does home. not condone manual labor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there are benefits to mowing your lawn in the bare feet. Such as? <laughs> Being one with your lawn. We already covered that. Yes. What aside from being one so with your lawn? So what did you, you find said in the lawn <laughs> with your feet? It's what I didn't find that matters. There was no branches or no pothole. Well, actually, I did find a couple of holes that I stepped in and almost twisted my ankle. Ow. But then I filled them up. I've got some dirt. Okay. Filled them up. I and you can't there. find that with a shoe on? Mm, not as well. I can find okay. the holes in my lawn with shoes on. <laughs> did you find any slugs? No slugs. No, no neighbor no, dogs no took dog a crap poop. on your... No. <laughs> exactly. No, no twigs. Well, you know, no yeah, thank you very much. I mean, instead of the slugs, I mean, what about... I mean, you know, when I was a kid, it would be like, you know, you'd be on there Saturday, dad would be like whipping you with his mm. whip, you know, and you'd be mowing the lawn and then mowing grandma's lawn and the neighbor's yeah. lawn. And, you know, you'd be going through there maybe with the, you know, the... What did we have? giant stereos that we did you have tape uh, yeah Yeah, tape players neighbors yards that would be dangerous i wouldn't recommend it for neighbors yards i think dr normal needs some therapy (laughs) the briggs and stratton hits a big old pile of dog shit Uh uh-huh bam right there spews it everywhere in your face everywhere and you're like dr normal there you go easy but that would happen you're recommending if it sprays it in your face yeah, that no. would happen barefoot it's or It's true, no. though. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand. I was I'm trying to make arguments for keeping shoes there on. There are big dogs in this world. <laughs> no, there are, yeah. but if now, it's going to spray you in your face, it's going to spray you in the face. If your day job is mowing lawns, don't do it barefoot. But if it's your exactly. own yard, then yeah, it's okay. And you're coordinated. Don P says if you're coordinated. I think that's important. Okay. Yeah, don't run over your own foot. The second thing, there's three. The second thing I'm going to ask the is, second thing. it's not what you think Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have second thing. I'm going to um, switch it wait up. Wait a minute. I wait, no, no. Thing. That's going to be the third thing. I have a second I'm, thing. No, no, no. I'm switching oh. it up. That's the third thing. Okay, you want the third thing sound bite. The second okay. thing, the second thing is actually a question that uh, Mark Coleman 
tweeted and he would like mm. to know yo 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 and i can't remember exactly i'm not looking at my twitter feed right now but mm-hmm. if you'll dye your hair purple and if you'd be willing to get an implant live at cyborg camp yeah i read yes. that tweet yes um, so you saw that? Did you yeah, respond? A so, no, but the answer is no and no. Why not? You will not dye your hair purple and you will not get a live no, wait a minute, wait a minute. The per- I mean, I was going to dye my hair red. Uh, I stopped at uh, bleached because mm-hmm. it looks pretty good the way it is. It looks yeah, great. I may, I may add some your color. Your hair looks great, Don. Oh, thanks. Seriously. Does, your hair I like looks it. lovely. I like thanks. the look. Thanks. I've got this can of red sitting in my bathroom shelf and I think about adding some red. But I'm uh, confident in my manhood, but I'm telling you, haven't the hair yet. looks good. Oh, thanks. Like Coming it. from you is a big compliment. Yeah, no, no, no. I like it. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should do that myself. Dr. Normal's the, not allowed to bleach his hair. The implant, okay. te- technology's not there yet. I, I, you know, I don't want an implant. What do you mean the technology's mm-hmm. there? Android's going to come out? Media Chick was talking about a birth control implant. I think we're, we're yeah. that far. Oh, yeah. I, I've uh, known people with birth control implants. I also What's it called? One of my... Um, Norplant? Norplant, yeah. Norplant. One of my best friends is the closest thing to a cyborg that is you know, commonly out there right now. She has a medical implant. So I'm going to get a Norplant before a cyborg camp. Yeah. Uh, Miss, <laughs> Miss Burrow <laughs> breasts, Miss, I think. Uh-oh. Miss Burrow's <laughs> implant is very cyborgish. It is. I love it's, it. It's it hot. It's really cool looking. It's hot. Even if she doesn't think so. <laughs> I told her she has to come to cyborg camp because she she's the closest thing well, to a cyborg, it is, it's cyborg of any of us. Yeah. Well, yeah. there is, I mean, part of the cyborg issue is the medical implants and things and monitoring and right. things that we do and You're i'd right. be willing to get a cyborg like tattoo oh we talked about that who talked about that uh g walter and i hi g walter he talked about if you could Im- imprint uh like cpu traces or something as i understood it in 140 characters on uh tattoos and i i didn't think so but I did think that maybe you could tattoo, like, traces, like, communication traces, mm, yeah, like, from the arm, or something, it. sensors or something. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, well, if it was I mean, you could tattoo based, a barcode. Yeah, as a me- but a if barcode me- would be cool. Metallic-based. Yeah. Well, I if you can tattoo that. a barcode, then you can go through Mortar's, the, what is it called? The Revenge of Mordor. Challenge of Mordor. Challenge of Mordor. Gondor. Gondor. Mordor. Mondor. Mondor at Enchanted Forest because it's all bar- barcode. Done. Ooh, I mean, yeah. yeah, I was so jealous when you tweeted that you sent it, it went to the Enchanted Forest. It's one of my Enchanted favorite Forest. places in the whole world. I mean, the last, have you been Forest. to the Challenge of Mondor? No, Mondor's I haven't Challenge. been in like six years. They've got this great ride now that the people from Disneyland had to come and check out. Mm. It's That's completely, Challenge of Mondor. Exactly, mm. it's completely trackless. There's no track. The little There's, cars. I think it's probably Mordor. No, 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 no. It's, it's not Mondor. Mordor. It's not, it's not, it's not Mordor. Lord of the Rings. It's not Lord of the Rings. Yeah, no, it's not Lord of the Rings. That's where I got confused. It okay. is, you know, it is. Yeah. It's kind of, you know. It's a challenge of Mondor, but right? It, Change one letter. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so as the Tolkien estate doesn't sue your asses yeah, exactly. out into yeah. oblivion. It's, it's Lord of the Zing. That's what it is. <laughs> exactly. yeah, it's really close. The return Lord of, of the, the king. Lord queen. Of the king. Yeah, it's the right. return of the queen. Hello, I'm here. Oh, Hodo, okay. where are you? Frodo, give me the it's, ring. It's Jam and Hodo. Yeah, it's like <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Enchanted Forest was good. I was jealous because like a month before mm. that, Media Check went to Enchanted Forest. Mm. And the second she tweeted a picture of the tombstones in Western Town, I was like, that bitch is in Enchanted Forest. Well, there's an adult version of Enchanted Forest and it's called Burning Man. <laughs> Burning Man. Yeah. Wow. And how would you know about Burning Man, Dawn? Because <laughs> I went for the first time in 2008. Woo! Really? This oh, wait a minute, f- wait a minute, wait a minute. We need to talk about Burning Man, but before we talk about Burning Man, I need to get to my number three question. Hang on. Okay. Playing the sound Because bite. I think I have a feeling you that, ready? that Burning Man's going to take up a great Number three question sound bite is. Number three question. Oh, wait a minute. i got to turn that up. Let's try that again. Ouch. Domp, domp. Yeah, I should explain that. That that's how I pronounce your. Oh, not Dumpy Dumpy. No, because I always no, go no. Dump Dump. Because it always reminds me of the Law and Order noise. Um, Dumpy oh. Dumpy. Why is it dump, that dump. you don't follow me or anybody else that you should follow on Twitter? Oh man, you had to put me on the spot. Uh, what? I accept honest answers. It's okay. I thought about re-following you. But I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then I, then I thought it's better like of it. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I, I'm kind of prolific in my tweeting. What well, is your criteria? Your tweet, for- if you if you look at your tweet stream, it is very personal. Sexy. Yes. And sexy. 
not well, always. Yeah, well, not, not all. There are sexier. It's sexy, <laughs> but not the sexiest. <laughs> yeah. It's not sexy. It's sexist. Sexist. It's very I, personal amongst a small circle of cool people, but mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, not part of that circle. And it's like, mm. you're not part of my circle. <laughs> oh, not the real cami circle. So, what do you look for in a good tweet? Yeah, well, uh, there is there are things I look for. For instance, when you look at a tweet stream, if it's all replies, that's bad. Mm-hmm. So you got to have okay. you know a certain mix of statements, right? Not mm-hmm, just responding. Mm-hmm. You got to be a little proactive. Uh, and if so, you, if you're Joseph Stalin and you're tweeting, that'd be good, right? Not replying so much, yeah, just making statements. Yeah. I don't know if I would want to follow Joseph Stalin. I think that could be interesting. Almighty God's very interesting to follow. Actually, I don't. Yeah, yeah it's that, really good. Um, so yeah, not a lot of replies. Uh, oh, if you talk about events, you know, like if you say like where I'm going, any kind of location stuff, that's really cool. Oh, that's the problem. I don't. Leave oh my yeah, we don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we're parents. Yeah, like if a geeky girl Don will say, "I'm at this cafe. Or I'm going to this thing here," and like that's that's cool. Well, so yeah, Shiz- Shizao, right? That's true. Yeah, the, I guess I'm thinking pre Shizao. It's when I made these guidelines. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm. What else? So what are the guidelines? Um, what are the guidelines? Well, so that was a couple of them. Mm-hmm. So um, location. What else is important? Stuff. Oh, so you got to look at their their followers to followees, mm-hmm. right? It can't be too heavy one way or the other. Well, that's we're okay there, right? We're real people. Yeah. I think oh, we're totally so. okay there. Yeah. No, we're fine there. Uh, okay. Their, check. The avatar check. profile should be a person. I agree check. with that one. One hundred. Do I need not this? A, not you an know, icon verso. Uh, okay, or, hang on, hang on. Hang you know, on. I really like that, that okay, let's picture go. of Aaron Hawk. The picture Aaron Hockley took of Verso with the pretty hair. Yeah, it oh, was yeah. very okay. briefly her her Twitter. Or, uh, so let, let's let's mark them down. First, followers to followees. We've got that. Correct. I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And a real avatar, a picture. I, I have We've a real got that. avatar. Good. Um, now what else? Make statements. Make statements rather make? than responses. I do both. Uh, <clears throat> No, what do, I, what do I, you give Cam Chaos on that? More uh, replies than statements. More replies than statements. But still enough Ooh. statements to be enough. enough. No, <laughs> okay, I do. So, I so you statements still give her the replies. statement? Yeah, Sta- yeah, yeah. Okay. She gets the statement. Okay, good. Um, that's the Don P, Don P sound, by the way. <laughs> dump, dump. Um, what else? Oh, uh, locations. Right. Oh. Meetups. Meetups. No, no, yeah. No. no. Okay, no. no. Sadly lacking There's one. in that area. What else? Um, and it'd be nice if the, some percentage of the replies were people that I'm already following. You know, now, so that's not totally new. Now, some of my replies, they might not be people that you're following, but there mm. are other people who are disgruntled that you don't follow them. <laughs> I think we both know who that is. <laughs> no, too early? Um, no. What? So, yeah, no, she gets that one. Yeah, she no, gets I get that oh, she one. did? Yeah, okay. She yeah, well, yeah. Just because I like doing we, that. We run in the same, even though he doesn't think we run in the same circle. We've got the same <laughs> basic circle. Okay. More Tell re- me when this is um, annoying, by the way. Okay, it's, it's, it's annoying. annoying. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'm just pissed off you're not following if, if you, me. If you want me to tell you a Sesame Street story, you keep that up. No, we're the, just we're trying. The, we're, this is this is like the Manchurian Candidate. He will start following us by the end of this podcast. <laughs> but you're torturing me there, too. There are Trust three me. people who are unhappy that I know of that. And by the way, them. that was the first who? Manchurian Candidate it's reference in you, the show. You, Miss Burroughs, and Gene and VK. Can I can I tell you honestly? I'm really not that upset that you don't follow me because anytime <laughs> I tweet at you, you uh-huh. always respond very okay. Very because promptly. a tweet deck rocks. Yeah, you tweet always respond. And best I've, I've got your email address, so anywhere. if I need to get a hold of you, yeah, I, no, I can. see replies to me if you don't follow me or not. Yeah, so see, that gives me hope that if I tweet to Veronica, that she'll see it. Do you think she will? I, uh, no, but I mean, it gives me a, sl- a slimmer of, of hope. Yeah, a glimmer. Yeah. She has like 15,000 followers. Oh, Veronica, why won't you love Don P. Don P. She ought to. She has a boyfriend. Sad. You should just love Don P. Don P. instead. Not that I know your boyfriend or you, but, you know. Or you could not because he doesn't follow me. <laughs> or apparently, I think Dr. Normal is now upset. So you can just replace me so what's with your, Dr. Normal what's your and the upsetness. So what's your tweet score? Uh, 86. 82, maybe? Uh, yes, eighty something. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter you grade. Back Damn, I feel like a presidential candidate. Now. Like Do you know what your tweet score is? Do you know how many Ooh. houses you own? Yeah, will exactly. It, will it be someday that like you know your Twitter like relationships and your score will be like you know I don't know. I mean, Obama's already rocking Twitter. If you look Dude, at the top, yeah. the number he was one number one. Grade? Yeah, yeah, on Twitter, Twitter grader, Twitter, whatever it is. Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> twit, Twitter, Twitter, twit, Twitter. I made reference to the Manchurian candidate. Someone said, what about the Aleutian candidate? I think it's Aleutian. Is that how you used to do that? The, the Alaskan, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sarah Palin, thank you very much. I don't want to talk about her. Yeah, me neither. Next president of the United States. But okay, I can't are there tell any you about other criteria, and then no. after we're done with the criteria, we'll move along to Bernie. This um, is a non-content show. Oh no, this is a very rich. Well, so content those show. are those are criteria. There are other things that help. Mm-hmm. If you're an attractive female, that makes the <gasps> tweet stream more so interesting. You're saying that I'm not <laughs> okay, female. the audience is like, push the button, push the button, push the button. Okay, yeah, as far a, as new a, followers, you don't know that helps. What mm-hmm. can I say? Mm-hmm. So you so what you're saying is Ms. Cammy Chaos is not he attractive. He just called us ugly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jean Anne Kid, did you hear that? So what, wait a minute. What, what do Me? you? That's just one sliver of the whole great. I, I need to make a dumpy dumpy grater. That's what you're saying. Dump dump dump. Um. So so what? yeah, you do I didn't actually. Hear that. You actually do. Was someone talking in? The <laughs> oh. So what do you like in a woman? I mean, seriously, uh, seriously. Yeah. Well, a uh, bunch of things. But you know the easiest to, to pick out is height. <laughs> oh, you like being six three? Yeah, you know it's nice when you don't have to like stoop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I dated a really tall guy once, and my neck always hurt, and uh-huh. his back always hurt. Uh huh. What else? It's uh-huh. not good to have a lack so of height. You're, you're six three. Yeah. You are tall. Yeah. Wow. Well, Did yeah, you hit your head three. on the way down the stairs? No. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so a taller woman. That's good. Yeah, geeky. That's good. Geeky. geeky. Oh, good. Huge, huge points for geeky. Huge boy. That's what why a- Veronica's interesting. Is she <laughs> so, tall? No, but she plays World of Warcraft. Oh, you mean uh, she Veronica? She gets some really high heels. Really Veronica Belmont? Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. But I think she's tiny, isn't she? she yeah, I think she is. Kind of short. Sure. And she's like Ryan Block. It's like, eh, yeah, I know. Eh, that ain't going to work. Yeah. Quirky, I guess. Yeah. Helps. Quirky she's helps. She's cute. Smart. Just generally smart, I think, helps. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I We all, we all like the smart women. Yeah, absolutely. Guys like the Amen I mean just probably someone women. who that's doesn't right, cringe right. when you when you mow your lawn barefoot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so somebody like green. Yeah, mm. like outdoorsy. Somebody green? Yeah. There we green go. Who wants to go that camping, also, right? That also helps. That's right. Camping, camping yeah. outdoor. The tweet camp. Um yeah, got, got what, how'd that, and how'd Amber that go? to how'd show that go? up. How'd that go? And Stephen Walling. Did you guys get rescued from like, you know, the helicopters and we, stuff? Uh, Did you get eaten by a bear? No, we actually didn't even see a bear, but uh, oh, we did. We did hike out to Bagby. Uh, wait, is that right? Yeah, Bagby, Bagby. Hot Springs. Bagby Hot Springs. Yeah, sure. That was great. That was really really fun. Need to do another one. And yeah, um, tweet us. One point five mile hike to the hot springs. Another half mile to our campground. Nice. The that's campground was right along a stream, you know, so you hear like the babbling brook. Oh, uh, that's great. Nice. Yeah, I hung up a hammock and slept in a hammock, and that was awesome. Wow. So did you bring any technology when you? No, were it was technology free. Not even a camera. No Wi-Fi. No cell phone. Did bring a camera. Camera is technology. Yeah. Okay. You got me there. Damn. Well, was it a? F- <laughs> okay. I got photos on Twitter. Yeah, I saw. Or yeah. Twitter, not fl- Flickr. Yeah. Well, you. I know what you meant. Yeah. So what are you looking? Are you looking for a technology free weekend when you do that, or is it? Yeah, that was a nice, nice unplug session, but yeah. But Burning Man was an even bigger technology free session. Okay. <laughs> no, but really. Let's, okay, let's talk let's about talk. Burning Man. What? Made you decide to go to Burning Man this uh, year? Well, I'd, yeah, I'd heard about it for years, and uh, the whole contracting thing was just really loosey goosey this year. Mm-hmm. Like I'm working a very low number of hours, mm-hmm. and so it was easy to just say, "Woohoo! I'm not going to be working this week, and I'm going to Burning Man." Um, and so after Inatech, there was an after party at Open Sorcery, and one of the founders of Open Sorcery uh, is uh, Chris Amundsen, a cool guy who goes to Burning Man every other year. And I asked him, hey, can I get a ride? It's like, yeah, I got room. Come on. So I went with him and uh, and bought a ticket. And uh, went. It was sweet. How much did the ticket cost? I have okay, 300 okay. bucks. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. You know, and that's, uh, what, what's his name? Larry, what's the guy's name? That was a, like a big controversy years ago. Because oh. it used to be just like. Well, yeah, it starts out cheaper. I bet I bought it so late, it was the most expensive price. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you yeah. can get it for as little as 150 if you start early enough. Oh, so so if you weren't a slacker. Yeah. And you would have planned ahead. But they ask you, though, b- pay the most you can afford. So if you're uh, a rich guy, bullshit. don't just buy the 150 ticket. Because nah, that's lame. Mm, buy the $300 Can I tell ticket. you a secret? The rich guys always go, oh, yeah, I can only <laughs> afford the 150 right. Trust me. It's a very I've Republican got a cash move. flow problem. So, what preparations did you make aside from bleaching your hair? 
to go to Burning Man. Yeah, you know, all I was focused on was surviving the desert, mm -hmm. like spending a week uh, carrying all my own food and water. Uh, that's all I really thought about for weeks was, you know, what do I need? How much do I need? And because I didn't want to bring too much, I wanted it to be just the right amount. Mm -hmm. So I did that pretty well. And then I got there and I realized that none of that mattered. Um, well, it matters, but not nearly as much. What matters is what you wear. I yes, find. it's a big the, fashion. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. So I show up in like Carhartts and a long sleeve t shirt and look like a total dork. And my first photo shows you me wear like it? that. But you, you know what? Like a, Looking like a dork is a fashion statement. Of, well, yeah. Of yeah. Get, not a very popular You don't wear one. like. Like really, you know, like no clothes. You, you could know? have just gone like, like yeah, a no, no, that came later. Something. That came later. So, oh, okay. so on Monday, that's really the Burning Man thing, man. There's the Black Rock Boutique, which is a place that you stand in line for, and they let you in. They have all these clothes, and you no can pick shit. out your own clothes. And you buy clothes. No, there's no, there's no, there's no commerce on Burning Man. It's all okay. Like, it's all giveaway or barter. Or well, I don't want to wear some uh, some other guy's jock strap at Burning Man. Well, so it's all crazy clothes. So you pick out some crazy yeah, clothes, but still. and your payment is that at the other side of this little wigwam tent with all the clothes is a runway, and the runway goes alongside the line that's waiting to get in. So everybody that's coming out has got to like show mm. off all the goofy clothes that they're now wearing and got for free. So that was really cool. Uh, and I had just like this little frilly half sweat, I don't know, thing. Frilly? Did you uh, say it frilly? It was frilly, yeah. And See, this is where, where Cammie and, and Burning Man would not go because I would have to go in with a bottle of Febreze <laughs> and a lit roller. <laughs> yeah. And, and so about the time uh, I was uncomfortable ready. Uncomfortable wearing So here's clothing. the thing. Uh, well, that's let's tell the story because this show's about us and not about him. Um, not about any guest on the show because it's. Pretty much Strange Love Live is about yeah, okay. Cammy and Dr. Normal. Take it away. Or just um, Cammy and I let you be on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so about the time, you know, I was like ready to really do the Burning Man rocking thing, I met Cammy, right? Hello. And so we were hanging out and rocking it. And and so I was like all about... So we things should go took to a turn for the worse when that happened. Exactly. I was all about like, yeah, Burning Man. Man, all my friends are going to Burning Man. Let's do Burning Man and stuff. Cammy was like, for bees. Ooh, creepy. No, get away. In the sand. I Actually, can't what deal Cammy with it. said was... Um, the sun burns me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so my tattoos get sunburned. And I was way like, they love you at Burning Man, skin. but no. Yeah. So what happened with Burning with my plan for Burning Man? About the time I was ready to do Burning Man, because I had been invited a year or two before in the early days, was by the time I met Cammy and I met this cool chick to go to Burning Man mm. with girlfriend, you know. And she didn't want she, to go. Girlfriend nixed it and no mm. Burning Man. I made him go Dr. to Normal. I made him that go sucks. to like fairy tale bondage that balls sucks. instead. Well, that's what no. I, was I made him dress what? up like the big bad wolf. That could be fun too. Yeah, you better say that again. I think the chat room just uh. lit up. It's like fairy tale bondage <laughs> balls you sent him to. So, uh, not a ball as in, you know, a testicle or a bouncy ball, but you know, you. a ball like Cinderella's ball, only oh, in, 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 in fairy tale bondage clothing. Right. We went as well, wait a minute, I, like you do. Yeah, I mean, well, I wasn't. Um, well, I was the big bad wolf. You were the I big wasn't bad like, wolf. You made me up like I'm like little lead, lead okay. little lead Zeppelin Riding Hood. I should. I what should. What the just, hell is that? I should scan the the portraits. My my favorite. You really should. My favorite pictures of uh, Doctor Normal and I that I had framed um, for our anniversary one year are these two portraits that a woman took at the fairy tale ball photographer yeah, um, very good photographer of dr normal dressed as the big bad wolf and me dressed as little red riding hood and with tape on her nipples yes sounds hot yeah i wanted was. to be proper i could fit in at burning man quite well yeah exactly yeah, but then i would so so basically what she's saying so, is no burning man and, but and, she made up for it and in, it's dirty know. and i need a shower other and stuff. Yeah. Well, so the, what makes <laughs> what makes Burning Man and an experience though is you have the art, which is awesome, and you have the music. I love the art, and I love the, the music. music's everywhere. You can't get away from electronic music. Mm -hmm. uh, so those two by themselves would be great, but the fact that you're surviving in the desert um, just makes everything more intense. I'm okay with surviving. I'm just not okay with the intense sun and lots of people. Well, you get a 40 foot RV, and you just pull up in that thing, and you're fine. Okay, hey, honey, we can so, go so with here's a 40-foot RV. A couple RV. of our really good friends are major burners. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, totally burner enthusiasts, actually. One of the guys who the guy who introduced Cammy and I... Our daughter's godfather. Mm -hmm. ...is a big burner, and another good friend of ours, 
big time burner from way back. So mm. so yeah. So we're, we're down with the okay. whole. Okay. So you're that close. Yeah. You just need a just need exactly. a vehicle. Exactly. Exactly. A vehicle that he's, will make Cammy right. happy. If, if I had a forty foot RV, I like camping in nature and, uh, without an RV. It's just the whole desert and and the people. Yeah. Well, you can build as as intense of a structure and as comfortable of a structure as you have the materials and people and supplies for. Mm-hmm. It's like people build these, you know, mash 4077 camps with like these, I've you know, 200 square stuff. foot camps mm-hmm. that are giant and they've got their tents under the camps. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they have a shade structure and then they tent in that because it's so huge. Uh, and then a giant dust storm comes along and knocks it all down and uh, maybe yeah. kills somebody. That's the RV. Uh, Ooh. But no, no, nobody died. No, oh. <laughs> but there was uh, some pretty intense dust. Yeah, because you you split early. Right? Yeah, the day we arrived, there was a huge dust storm, and uh, I, it just it hit just after we had set up our tents. What's the de- is, is Mojave or um, oh the the it's name Black of the Rock. desert? Yeah, yeah it's, it's the northwest um, northwest Nevada, and it, like Lake Pontchartrain, I believe it's called. Yeah, okay. I can't remember. It's a, um, outside of Black Rock, so yeah. Uh, so I was sitting in my tent, and uh, they're like 30 mile per hour winds, like knocking my tent around. I got the rain fly on, but dust is still coming in, and I'm, you know, the 100 degree heat is beating down on me, and I'm like, oh my god, if it's like this every day, I'm not gonna make it to by the end of the week. It's just, oh, this is horrible. <laughs> so you were like having yeah. a shitty time at burning. Yeah, up. the first day was like unbelievably bad. Was it just you? <laughs> Well, um, I mean, I think, oh, well, in my tent, yeah. It was just my single tent. Well, and then Chris had his tent next to me. Okay. Um, Nentis was his playa name. So, okay. And, and my okay. playa name was Skylab. Skylab. Yeah. I like that. So, uh, Wait, yeah. that's from a show. Mine would be Dr. Normal. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, 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 could I be Camping Chaos? Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> Mine was not Dumpy Dumpy. Do we have though. playa names dump, dump. already? Yeah, right. it wasn't Dump Dump. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so at, but it was great after that. The the whole Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it was great. And then the day we left, there was what another What Brian's sun, name would be? I don't know. I have no idea. I use my real name as my Twitter as my Twitter name. So yeah. I'm so what's the same wrong thing. with you? I yeah. no, I really like it when people use their name. I find people who it's use it's easy to remember. It's like like I mean, my name is Cammy. I like it too. If and, and you don't have a shitty name. There's a but, picture uh, of me that you need to on use thing, some so other name. I find like it quite Dr. common Normal. for people to walk up to me and go, "Hi, Cammy." The, uh, and I appreciate that. Camarama is a cute version of Cammy. That very. I like Camarama. Yeah. Camarama. I don't know if she says Cammy Rama or Camarama. Well, it Cam- doesn't have an I. Because you have to change the O. Oh, okay. That was a that was a uh, culture club tune, right? Kama, 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 kama. Right. That's Karma oh, right. Chameleon. Yeah. Never mind. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> but that was the 80s shout out for the show. You got a high hat Sorry about there? that, Kavitans. <laughs> I do, actually. Bum. I have a high hat out there. It's back in the corner. <laughs> it's located behind the studio audience. So you're all Phoenix, by yourself so in, in a tent. Yeah, in that a, was, ju- that was a, just the first day. 100 degree heat. So and a dust storm. really shitty time at Bernie. Yeah, was, zero, this, was the second zero, day when you got to the fashion show? Uh... Must have wearing been, yeah. some other yeah, guy's yeah, jock strap or something. <laughs> did you keep your own underwear on? The uh, yeah, I did, did you? Yeah, actually? I did. I did. Okay, but the, I feel the, the a visi- lot better. The visibility went to zero in that dust storm, but it was Ooh, it was must it, it was much more enjoyable to get, actually be out of the tent and on our bikes. Yeah, because um, Chris and I just went for a bike ride and the dust storm, and actually that was one of the most incredible memories during the of during, of during, during the dust storm. Yeah, with goggles, right? With goggles, okay. yeah. So we went we oh, went yeah. through art exhibits, right? And and uh, so you, if you Did only you have, have like twenty feet, too? yeah. Like, well, I had a, a bandana over my yeah, mouth. That's yeah. all I really needed. Uh, and so you come up to an art installation, it'd be the huge thing, is neat, and you look at it, and then you go twenty feet away, and it's like the art installation has been erased. Because it's just pure white, you know. It's just white out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you come up to something new. Oh, this is neat. And then then it's gone. You know, it's like it's like being in heaven, right? This sort of imaginations of heaven where everything's fluffy white clouds. It's amazing. Uh, that's, so that that's very cool. That was just yeah. That was the. But first I'm gonna day. go to hell, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> so the, another memorable thing. Uh, there's a critical mass bike ride. Uh huh. Um, so they have at at Burning Man. Well, no, at, in Portland, critical mass. Yeah, yeah. So yeah at right. Burning Man, it's called. Wait a minute, you're changing the subject. We're talking about no, Burning Man. No, this is a good. This <laughs> no, this is, is a good. A, trend. We're gonna change the subject. No, no, this is a lead in. No, no, I, I want to talk about critical. I have a story we have to involving this. us for critical mass. Not yet. Oh, we have to talk about the alcohol. Talk about alcohol. Yeah, we do this every you have a week on the show. No, this is we're working on that. Integrity, we're working on that. Integrity, this, integrity yeah, spirits. we're working on that, right? This is the drink music. So what are we drinking, Cammy? A juicy thing that Cammy made in a pitcher. Can you tell us <laughs> what's in it? 
It contains cran raspberry juice, pineapple juice, vodka, and triple sec. And Don P, Don P, what are you drinking? I'm drinking the same delicious fruity juice, but that was after a beer. And the beer was? Um, Obsidian Stout. Obsidian Stout, very nice. And And Brian, what are you drinking? I'm drinking the aforementioned beverage, and I have to say that I've listened to the show a number of times, and this beverage actually tastes about four times better than it sounds. Wow. Spectacular. Thank you. Well worth the trip. Quite good. Very nice. Dr. Norman, what are you drinking? Well... As I ran home in traffic to try to do a podcast at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, which I was stuck in traffic, Kami Chaos made me a dry gin no, no. Bombay martini. You don't say it right. Uh, why don't you a do it? A dirty dry Bombay It wasn't martini. dirty, though. It was two. Oh, okay. Three olives. It was just wasn't dirty like they make it in the restaurant. Right. No, I'm like drinking a little sharp. Cloudy and murky. Blech. Everything's dirty it. on the show. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> the way we do it. So we need to get our drink on in the holidays, I think. Okay. So, okay, so now can we there you go, chat room. Mass? You're happy. Yeah, because oh, now cr- they want the, to talk about The chat room wanted to know what we were drinking. Uh, yeah, it's sorry, a show. Sorry, chat room. We, we were just too busy drinking to tell you. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm always there to make sure the continuity is is happening, right? Okay, critical mass. Uh, so the Go. Burning Man has a version of it, and uh, it's called Critical Tits, and it's a uh, women-only ride. Uh, everyone just rides around topless. Woo-hoo. Wait but a minute, every- wait a minute. It's women only. Yeah, and they ride around topless. Mm-hmm. So if you're a topless guy, you can't ride. Anymore. Well, you can, but you kind of stand out. Uh, but the funny thing was, you could if you had boobies. Being topless was so ordinary that it wasn't. Any yeah, big exactly. Deal, it's right? Burning Man. Right, yeah, exactly. Everybody's naked. That, that was my next question to me. From me to you, mm-hmm. Don P, Don yeah. P, is did you see a lot of naked people? Oh, yeah, a lot of naked people. That's what I... Yeah, well, you know, mostly half-naked, a lot of so, half, a lot of half-naked women. I have a naked half-naked question. Naked is okay. okay. Well-groomed naked people or really furry naked people? Oh, uh, well-groomed naked people. <laughs> That's good to know. Uh, that makes uh, me feel a lot better but about But, you know, so the whole full Monty thing was pretty unusual. So, like, every once in a while, like, just no, a totally wait, wait, naked no. guy would just walk by and be like, oh, there's a naked guy. Okay. Well, see, in the early days, that was just like hip, right? You know, it's like yeah, it's not. I don't, so it's, my it friends seem to be very popular, but it definitely happened. So, so, so after really? critical okay. tits, well, before critical tits, there was uh, critical dicks, which is a march. Ooh. Yeah, it's a march, though, not a bike ride. A bottomless march. <laughs> uh, well, because a bike ride would be Monty march. Kind of complicated. Yeah, would, yeah, I mean, yeah. No, so a bike ride doesn't display the goods. You've got to have some. But you also no. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. That Don, have up. you ever? Biked naked before? No, I haven't. Okay, does does that seem complicated to you? Mm. I mean, with the bike seat and everything. Well, okay, no, to me. I did bike naked at Burning Man in okay. a dust storm. That was fun. Oh, so so this aforementioned dust storm that oh, you were wait, talking about with your naked? goggles, you were naked. Were you no, all no, naked no, no, that was a different. That was a different. Oh, it was a different. Yeah, get your story straight. Yeah, though. you're right. Uh, I might have had underwear on. Anyway, okay. as far as I think biking was in underwear is totally fine. <laughs> yeah. It was like <laughs> no. little skivvies, like little yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it really? It was. If you wear really these boxers, it doesn't matter. But you wear like the the not briefs. I wear briefs. Okay, briefs, but. Are they colored? Or are we going like to talk about what kind of underwear everyone yeah, wears? Yeah, we're going to. They asked Clinton years ago Woo-hoo! about that. No, but so, so the critical dicks march, I actually did. <laughs> and Bring us there, around, there were 30, there were 30 Brings guys. Brings back on topic. Critical dicks. Yes, <laughs> thank th- you. There are 30 guys. This is why we Only love 30? this show. Yeah, I know. And there are thousands of women I in the bike ride. Yeah, see, we're way more likely to show off our tits than yeah. guys are to show yeah, off their Yeah, it's a less of a deal, genitalia. I think. Genitalia. Yeah. Um, well, that's because... Uh, never mind. So it, it wasn't was, cold outside. No, it was not cold. <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> See, cold, that's the thing. Cold, good for critical tits. Not oh, good yeah, for yeah, critical dicks. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would dicks. be great for critical okay? tits. That's going to be a Yeah, but it's the middle of the desert in August, so I, cold does not factor in. I know, in exactly, <laughs> but critical tits, cold, look good. Yay! Yeah, I that's suppose so. A, but they're all painted, too. Just about every yeah, one exactly. of them was covered in body paint. Yeah. So you had all kinds That's all of, good. So you're kind of clothes. Yeah. Okay, so Critical Dick. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We went marching around the Burning Man city, Black Rock, mm-hmm. and just totally naked. And we well, had like shoes on. I, I was wearing a hat. Uh, and we, we just to keep the sun off. Yeah, we, we tried to come up with as much funny stuff as we could to say to people. Uh, so, you know, like the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, 
Monty Python, mm-hmm. right? When he goes, when he goes, bring out your dead. You know, bring, bring out your dead. Yeah, and we'd say, bring out your dicks. Not dead yet. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, we'd make little jokes about like uh, Frank and beans being on the menu. Mm-hmm. Um, sausage and meatballs. That was funny. <laughs> Did you have any marching songs? Uh, no. But when people left, we said, look, our member is shrinking. <laughs> our member <laughs> Did you do this every day? I like that. No, just That's once. That's funny. It was, it was great. Because that would kind of gross me out for breakfast. <laughs> like, I got like a bunch of like naked guys with their junk hanging out every morning. I'd be like, yeah, I'm not so hungry right now. Yeah. yeah. After um, breakfast, we got some it would be okay. cheers. Some, some women ran out of their tent and said, we love penises. Yay. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was That's nice good. feedback. Well, yeah, you want that kind of feedback when yeah. someone's looking at your penis. <laughs> now, was your was yours painted? No, no. Actually, the guys didn't really do the painting thing. Some guys had jewelry, yeah, like, hanging off their stuff. Yeah, pierced or just. Uh, yeah, actually, a guy on. had one piercing. Yeah. Okay. It looked well, really it just... painful, and then like a ring, like a yeah. penis ring thing. Yeah, and... I've had my fair share of dealings with <laughs> genital piercing. So was it everyone well groomed? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I wasn't really paying that much attention. But. Were you well groomed? I think it would have been unpopular if he was staring. Yeah. <laughs> and judging, holding really? up cards. I'm really? Al- I'm always well groomed. Oh, are you? No, that's a good thing, uh-huh. right? You know, it's like, yeah, that's what we've learned is in 20 years, right? Is this where we get right? back to who wears what kind of underwear? No, no, no. Yeah. This, this I want to talk about learn. underwear now. We'll talk about underwear for a minute, but I think this is what we learned from 70s porn. Hmm. Is you know well grooming, grooming in the yeah. 80s and the 90s, mm-hmm. and now everyone's people well no groomed. longer appreciate the fur bikini. That's right. What do you think? Do you no not the fur bikini? Mm, no, not so much. Not so much. No, yeah. see, that's great. That's I mean, if you modern. look at porn, they're all shaved. Exactly. You know exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and so that's the way we like it. to see what they have going on. Have you ever seen like yeah, classic like so. late 60s, 70s porn? It's like it's not so much. No. Yeah, actually, I haven't seen porn that old, I don't think. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dr. Oh. oh, God. That was not an invitation to get it out. It's like Mozart and Beethoven of porn. No, it's Come not. On. No, it's not like Mozart and Beethoven. Okay, it's like the Monteverdi of porn. It's like Freddie Mercury of porn. What? No, it's not. It's like the Palm, I'm sure it's like the palm was... Pilot of porn. I mean, I'm in the iPhone <laughs> porn. <laughs> Okay, if the chat room doesn't light up on this, they're a bunch of dorks, right? <laughs> okay. Well, they're already dorks. Why did I think this was going to be a great after hours? I just was... we were supposed to talk about underwear. I want to know what kind of what underwear you... everyone wears. Okay, go really? for it. Isn't that just a simple question of boxers or briefs? No. no. Well, it was for Clinton. It's but... not. Hey, 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 who's, who's asking Sarah Palin and Barack Obama and John McCain and, and about uh, their Joe underwear? Biden? Not so much about their underwear, yeah. I'd we should. Him, that Facebook sounds about me. as useless as what most you read about political Exactly. Issues. I think that's exactly. the point, though. I really you do. You bet it, mm. it was. Okay, okay well, so, Don, you wear briefs? Is that what you're saying earlier? Yeah. Dr. Normal, would you care to enlighten us? Because I can tell them what kind of underwear you wear. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was reading the chat room and just about did a spit. <laughs> <laughs> Are they telling me what kind of underwear they wear? No. <laughs> no. I, I just... Uh, it's the whole... They can tell um, me porn thing. They can tell me what kind of underwear they you wear. You go. You go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mute. Do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell them what kind of underwear <laughs> do you, you want wear? You to tell me what kind of underwear I wear. See, I'm a girl, and girls we tend to vary our kinds of underwear yeah, depending on. Yeah, you the... obsess over it. Well, and yeah. And if you're Crystal Vice, you tweet about it. <laughs> well, you don't want to have panty lines. Crystal Vice is this somebody you follow? Yeah. You follow she- Crystal and you don't follow me? <laughs> Crystal Vice? <laughs> yeah, like she's cool. Crystal Vice and Snoop Dogg and just like, oh yeah, I only follow the tech people. Oh, but yeah, Crystal Vice I'm following. I follow plenty of non-tech people. So no, it is true that women obsess over their underwear because we don't want panty lines. And it reflects your mood. And it reflects our mood and we want comfort. And so... It it's it varies, mm-hmm. but you have like, I you I have myself, like power underwear. I know? myself in part. Well, see if I if I'm if I'm going to like a meeting or something, mm-hmm. chances are I'm wearing some like really lacy boy shorts because uh-huh. they make me feel all sexy and powerful. And I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm wearing under this. I do. But in general, it's boy shorts or thongs because neither of those really lend to panty lines. And I'm a big mm. I don't like panty lines. You're talking about. 
from from sun tanning? No, no, no. Panty lines, like when you're wearing pants. It's not as big a deal when you're wearing a skirt. But when you're wearing pants, if you look at someone's ass and you can see the lines where their underwear is. Oh, if their pants are so tight. that No, it doesn't even have to be tight. It depends on the fabric. Like jeans are thicker fabric, so you can't tell. But if you're a woman and you're wearing a lighter fabric pant Mm -hmm. and it lays on your ass... Especially if you maybe have a, apparently little, a bit, s- little bit of padding. Apparently the, the silicon can... florist is with you on that. On the panty line thing? Yeah. Yeah. Panty lines are not good. Actually, should I not have said his brand? Uh, whatever, I don't care. Is he, well, is he signed in as silicon florist? Silicon, no. Florist. silicon florist. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. He's not. I should. I, I, to- I told him that was a terrible name for a blog. No. Yeah. Did no. You? What yeah. did he say? No. He said, well, I don't know. I, didn't I disagree. Say, I disagree. Fuck you, Don P. Don P. That's what I'd say. I'd say, fuck Follow you, Don P. Don P. Chaos on Twitter. It's too close to silicon forest, which is a good name, That's but it was already point. taken. And I silicon like forest is horrible. I like silicon forest. And forest is cute. And camping. from college. For Floris, and, and he's like fifth on the but he's, first page of Google. Oh, which is, yeah, Google Strange okay, wait, Love. Which back is awesome. to the underwear, back to the oh, underwear. Okay. Dr. Normal, would you like to tell them what kind of underwear you or No, you I? go. I you don't wear, even know. You wear bikinis. Okay. You wear bikini briefs. Yeah. Right on. Mine are pretty close to that. Yeah. It Although, doesn't even have close? the little opening thing. They either are. Bikinis? Do they have the opening thing? I just don't want anyone to call them manties. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We discussed with manties. Nate. Yeah. Manties have to be frilly. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah, but I'm you not... were wearing frilly panties at Burning Man. <laughs> they Can we get to ask Brian what, what kind said. of underwear Brian wears? Briefs. Oh, wait, wait, oh. what? Briefs. He wears briefs. Is that with the little... See, with, yeah, with the opening. Yeah. Briefs are like wearing shorts. They're not almost not underwear. I just don't get briefs. Yeah, exactly. They're bunchy. I want support. You know, hey, I don't, can I ask you? Wait what a minute, I wait don't a get... Well, I always wait, assume no, no, that, I wait, wait, wait. I always okay. assume that briefs offered some support. What I don't get are boxers. Boxers is like free balling. Right? I mean... Yeah, I, I agree with Cammy on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. That's what I meant. Boxers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. He, he oh, you wear briefs. boxers. No, he doesn't wear boxers. Who wears boxers? I don't know. Ask the chat. Who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> on third. What? I wear boxers, boxers to sleep yeah. sometimes. Yeah, no, boxers That's fine. make no sense. That's sexy. Yeah. That's sexy when a woman wears boxers. Yeah, I don't have anything that, down there to hold up. A free balling exactly. is an interesting term because the Burning Man, they have a term called shirt cocking, <laughs> which is where you, you wear a shirt but no pants. So oh, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's supposed to be a Burning Man faux pas to go shirt cocking. Interesting. Why? Um, it's a faux. They have faux pas. Yeah, it's a Burning fashion Man. faux pas. Burning Man. To go shirt cocking, yeah, with just wearing right. a shirt and no pants. Yeah, huh? I get, you know, it's, you gotta admit, it's fucking it's Burning pretty, Man. Pretty okay, I have, I have men. I've got to ask this question. So you've got you have people, men. I have oh, okay. men in the room here, more than one, and I need to find out. So you're at a party. You got people over the house. <laughs> and you're shirt cocking. Some guy's wearing shorts, <laughs> and he's sitting there and. The you know, audience can't see, but you know the man stands with the legs spread, and you're trying to talk to him, and you oh, this look, is what we love. and you see he, <laughs> he's got cock and balls hanging out one hand leg there, and you can clearly see it. Actually, you used to refer to it as meat and potatoes <laughs> back meat in the good potatoes, old days, exactly. <laughs> and you can clearly see it. What's the proper thing to do if this is if you know you guys all wear supportive underwear, so it's not going to happen to you? But what's the right <laughs> thing for me to do in this case? When, when, you know. Well, what, so you want to tell them about it, but you want to know a delicate way to approach it? Do I want to tell, I mean, you know, here's the case. If I'm my, just saying if it's going to make Strange around, Love Live 2009 Summer Edition really exciting. If there are kids around, I'm going to say something. If there are kids around, I'm going to go, hey, put that away. <laughs> See, that's what I, really? <laughs> what is, I, I don't understand the idea of protecting kids from naked people. I don't Ooh, think. good. No, no, no yeah. I don't have a problem with protecting kids from well, naked, naked people. Well, naked male men pervs, but, but yeah. I mean, well, right. I don't, I also don't, I also don't, I also think point. that it's important, especially as children, to teach them to respect their bodies enough mm. to know when it's appropriate to show them. Okay. And when it's not. And that's what we try to teach our daughter. And so to sit around with your genitals just hanging out at a family <laughs> barbecue, I would say is not appropriate. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, the best suggestion for the pat chat room is take your take the picture with the iPhone <laughs> and just post it. <laughs> and I agree with that. That you know, that's from Cram. Would you follow me if I did that? No. No. <laughs> I don't think Don would unfollow you. <laughs> actually I think Don would follow you if you found a woman who's was like in the shorts and then it would be like 
Did the chat room tell us what kind of underwear? You know they what? Were? You know the comment that Miss Burroughs made that made me finally unfollow her, and I told her this. It was uh, you made some comment about a pussy, and she said, "Don't you hate it when your pussy won't stay still?" Well, she made a really funny comment today about you said something about muffins, and she said <laughs> your your muffins <laughs> won't funny. get cold if you sleep with underwear. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Yeah, I still I I was know. thawing and I a muffin. Thought, you know, I still, I guess I... I Tom, you're very inconsistent <laughs> with this shit, okay? You know, and I read that, and it's like, oh, thank God, I don't follow her anymore. So, so, so like, you're just, obviously entertained. So, so here's the thing, Don, you like the ladies, A, right? <laughs> oh, should I, should, I, should I do this? So, Don, you like the ladies, right, A? Okay, so... um. And B, you know, you you don't follow Miss Burroughs because she uses the word pussy, right? But then you kind of think it's cute about the muffin like comment, right? So what's up with that? It was funny, but I, my feeling is I don't want to read it at three in the afternoon when I'm working on Ruby, you know. And then again at three. Uh, were you wearing shorts? <laughs> no, I haven't worn shorts all year actually. Ooh, Ooh I I wonder not? if there's a way to have like an evening set of followers. Mm. Or following, that would you be know what I mean? You have your daytime people that you follow and your evening people that you follow. <clears throat> that but would I guess be interesting. Also, that's what TwitScan is for. Or just going to someone's page and looking. Is that what you just twit, twit, twit scan on your name, do a scan? Or well, something. yeah, TweetDeck does that for me. TweetDeck, yeah. TweetDeck yeah, yeah, rocks. Yeah. Best yeah. Twitter client ever. Does um, so, so Cammy, do they have an iPhone app? Cammy, actually, have you no, ever unfollowed somebody? Yes. Hmm, who and why? Um, I have been known to unfollow people when they are at a conference and their tweets become too much for me to bear. Mm-hmm. But then I often go back and refollow them. I'm seeing nodding in the um, audience. I unfollow yeah. people when they do not tweet enough. Really? When they like? There's no dis- cost if they say nothing. It's just part of your list. Yeah, but then I can't keep track. Of, I like to be able to keep track. I like to know who I'm following. Hmm. And then sometimes I unfollow people because I've noticed that sometimes people will change their Twitter name and then I will have no idea who they are and I'll have no recollection of following them because they've changed their Twitter name and I can't associate them with someone, so I'll unfollow them. <clears throat> okay. those, those are reasons that I would unfollow somebody. I just unfollow spammers or I, oh, I don't spot spo- I, I block yeah. I block spammers right. and then report I, them as spam I didn't realize that blocking was important until like a month ago so that Twitter can yeah. see you know like a thousand people block this loser mm-hmm. he's probably a spammer. like when you're you f- can also report them really yeah oh god Verso has a oh stop. I don't know how to do this it's complicated it's complicated Verso has yeah, a great I blog think. post about it that tells you exactly how to do it and once really? you get used to it you have to go to help and then you have to report I think something block, can you do it on your iPhone? Good enough. Yeah, I mean, blocking helps, right? When you're followed by you know, fictional every, characters from a cable Every time I've ever program, reported someone to spam, right? I've then immediately, within you know 10 minutes, gotten an email back from mm-hmm. Twitter saying, we're noting this, and then usually I get something back said, we've frozen the account, or a week mm-hmm. later I get something that says, we deleted their account. They well, were that's because Twitter must think you're hot or something. They're like, <laughs> oh, Kemi Chaos... I think I irritated them. There was one day that I that I blocked and then reported. You had a bunch of spammers. There was one day day I had like fourteen spammers follow me, and I I reported them all. Why? I can pick out a spammer a mile away, and I don't follow them back, so it doesn't bother me in the slightest bit. Because they're they're clogging up the Twitter. I mean, I can see blocking them. Maybe if they really offend me, you know, if they're just obviously like some kind of nasty spammer, I'll block them. But Cammy's doing a community service. Community service. (laughs) Think about it, huh? (laughs) I volunteer in the Twitter community. (laughs) Exactly to block and make sure. Okay, Don was going to ask me a question, and I interrupted. Really? Was it? But now he probably can't remember what it was. Yeah, because you went so Cammy. Well, that was about the unfollowing. Oh, okay. Oh. I got that. Okay. okay. Yes, I do got? sometimes unfollow people. <laughs> okay. I'm so we did the brief. I'm wondering if the chat room has a question. Oh, they have plenty of questions. They did the chat have... room tell us what kind of underwear they're wearing? Um, yeah, I don't want to go there. I do. I really don't. The, you know, and, and the thing is, the, the chat room is the back channel. Keep that in mind. We I, just pull things out of I the back channel. I just like to know what kind of underwear people what do you, wear. What do you, what's, what's on your mind, Don? What is on my mind? Um, What's on your mind here on Strange Love Live right now at this very moment? Oh, not oh now that moment. What's on your mind? The idea of continuous location is on my mind. Really? Yeah, constant tracking. Constant tracking. Why? But you didn't weren't black helicopters flying over your house just like two days yeah, ago? Yeah, it was a Channel Eight helicopter. 
at 6.30 in the morning just hovering over my house what for was no up with reason. That? I know. It was nuts. I made a little video of it, too. Okay. In case I oh, no, it. Did, did you post it? No, I didn't, but okay. I got it on my camera. Uh, yeah, it was very weird. Very annoying. Woke me up. See, so if you were following me, you would have seen my tweet like a week ago about the black helicopters coming out of southwest southwest portland really yeah which were the no. that that whole um i think I do they were doing you. a military maneuver yeah yeah this is just channel eight and yeah there's nothing yeah well i tweeted on. it and i was like <laughs> i just came out of the tunnel and all of a sudden these low file flying bl- literally black helicopters with military people mm-hmm. you know it was crazy it was like something out of a schwarzenegger movie i was like Oh, jeez. What the hell's going on? He's finally invaded from California, right? The Terminator. And then everyone tweeted back and said, oh, yeah, you know, KGW, the Oregonian, there's like some military maneuvers or something they're uh, doing. Like, I mean, it was real commando crazy stuff. I mean, it almost looked like movie stuff yeah. to me. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> am I living in Nicaragua or am I living in Portland, Oregon? Excuse me? Yeah, th- this wasn't on that scale. It was just you know the one chopper. Uh, but you know well, what were they doing? They were just hovering. I don't know. They, you know they'd hover over my <laughs> house for about three minutes, and then they'd circle the neighborhood, and then they'd come back and hover some more, and they did that for like half an hour. So were they doing? Mm. A and then they took off. Port on eight bit processors or yeah. male <laughs> yeah. underwear? Right. What know, were they doing? I call KGW, and they don't open until eight thirty. Oh, so you called them in the like, morning? Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is this yeah, helicopter doing the, outside my house? Exactly. And nothing. No, nothing. Because they were closed. Okay. Uh, but you know. That's a little disconcerting. It is. It is. Uh, were you something naked? Else? <laughs> no, not. Well, I was when they woke me up. <laughs> yeah, but you, were you outside? <laughs> were they taking pictures? Uh, no, I, they really couldn't see me. Well, maybe I was they had right infrared, under though, or something. They were yeah. like, yeah, imaging it's through clear the Clear infrared. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. So nothing. So they were just flying around. Doing KGW. Yeah, there, there's not even you know, like traffic problems. I have no idea what they're doing. Okay. But let me tell you something else that's on my mind. Please. Um, if you think of like the, well, Hollywood and like the world in a macro scale, you have, you have talk shows and you have celebrities and you have journalists and such. We're recreating that. Like Bill O'Reilly. That. Yeah, we're recreating that on a micro scale in Portland. How so? I think it's really awesome. Like everyone in far in part of the Portland Twitter sphere, um, we have parties, right? If you're Paris Hilton and you go to a party, people will write about it. If Cami Chaos goes to a party, I, I knew he was going to compare me to Paris Hilton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second he said Paris Hilton, I knew exactly where it was going. I was like, shit, okay, he's going to call me the Paris Hilton. If if Cami goes to a party, Brom will write about it, or Rick will write about it. You know, the same kind of effects that you have on sort of the Hollywood scale or the national scale, we have. But I tend to wear underwear. Really? Yeah, you I, shouldn't, I, don't know, I don't know if Paris you shouldn't does wear. or not. I think she's Paris one of them, yeah. Um, I can tell you something about Paris. If you follow her around, you're a parasite. Ooh. <laughs> if you take the P out of Paris, you get heiress, which is what she is. That's very clever. I got that from her book. <laughs> you read, you read her, her book? book? Yeah. It's all pink and made for 13-year-old girls, but I read it. But you read it. Wow. Why was, did you read it? This one was when I was in L.A., and uh, you get sort of, you know, your mind gets twisted, and the idea of celebrities sort of takes over. Because you read about, you know, whoever, Lindsay Lohan eating uh, sushi, and you look up the restaurant, and it's 15 minutes away from where I work. You know, and so that kind of stuff makes it amazing. So do you work in L.A. a lot? No, but just uh, I did last year for the first time. Really? It was fun. For, for how long? For a jib jab for six months. Ah, man. That was really fun. And so you went down to LA, you went to work doing your intellectual coding, mm. you know, thing, and you started reading Paris Hilton things. Yeah, and, I got in the library. Getting crazy. Ooh, ooh. So you actually really kind of like interrupt. got into the LA culture. I have Paris, Paris news. Um, Rick says she's not an heiress anymore. She's not going to get all of her inheritance now. Oh Whatever. my gosh. Yeah. Poor I, Paris. Yeah, I thought you'd feel bad for her. She'll have to live. Well, yeah, she, when when she was put in jail, I went to work with a little button on my shirt that said Free Paris. This is something we don't. Does everyone know <laughs> this about you? I mean, this is like a real. Like, it was fun. It was sort of my little, you know, obsession while I was in LA. And then I left LA and it all went away. 
So you were like became like this crazy fanboy paparazzi kind of craziness when you were there. Yeah, kind of. And I that's what really, LA turned you. I never really left Santa Monica. Okay. So her jail was a ways away, another part of LA. But it really but, turned you into that. Yeah, LA will drive you crazy. Well, that's I know why that. I left. That's I why I left. That. LA, me, LA yeah. drives people crazy. <laughs> Are you? Uh, where were you born? Where did you grow? Portland, up? here. Oh, so you're local. Yeah. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! So you and Media Chick and Doctor Normal. Right on. What high school did you go to? What about Brian? Uh, I'll tell you. Oh, later. Brian's from LA. I'm also from California. You're from, from LA. Texas. So, tell us about LA. I mean, what's this LA thing? Like, he goes to LA and he he goes native. <laughs> it's like a freaking apocalypse now. You go to LA and it's like the horror, the horror. Look around you, right? Yeah. Is that what happens in yeah, LA? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's weird. Silicon Valley is like a company town around computers. Right. And yeah. LA is like a company town around this the entertainment industry. And one of the great things about Portland is it's not a company town around something made up hmm. and silly. Oh. Which is great. Yeah, that's good though, right? We're all oh, a bunch of no, crazy perfect. green hippies. We've got the creative class. We shouldn't yeah. we shouldn't wear underwear is what we should do. We should all walk around what was that thing? Shirt <laughs> shirt shirt cocking. Shirt cocky, right? Yeah. But so so LA really like sucks you in and you start to care about Paris Hilton? Are you well, shitting I, okay, me? Okay, I cared about Paris Hilton before, but just not to the same level. Really? Wow. Do you do yeah, you like- She was on Larry King and she sounded <laughs> intelligent. She just Dude, this me. is Larry King, motherfucker. It is. Do you also the follow whole microcosm like, thing Britney I'm talking Spears? about is the Larry King show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. Okay. <laughs> It's a great after hours, by the way. I'm, I'm just like, I'm going to have a great time. I don't think I want you to follow me anymore. <laughs> I thought she was tell, talking to me. Eminem. No, you- Call her. What's your question? <laughs> Eminem Do you have a, a question great line for Don about Don sitting Don here next to Britney Spears? She's talking about, I can't remember the rest of it. but oh, She's going to be on the show next week. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's going to co-guest with Aaron. Yeah, they're, they're emailing That'll us like constantly. That'll be a big studio it's audience. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All four of them. Because <laughs> that's all we can take. And Tarosi will Skype in, you know. Of course. Be like, yeah, of course, right. You know, it'll be like you know, Paris Hilton on or blogs or something. So if I'm Paris Hilton, is Miss Burroughs Nicole Richie? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah, I guess so. That means her father would be a really cool oh, singer. Oh, man. A really I'm cool not singer? Sing. Lionel Richie? Lionel Richie? Richie? I, I love, love Lionel love Richie. Lionel Richie. <laughs> he had one... Uh, no, I don't want to go there. Okay. I'm not going to sing. I'm just going to... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to pretend to sing. Um, Cammy's acting like Lionel Richie. I like yeah. Lionel Richie. Okay, What's wrong so, with you, Dr. Normal? It's yeah, Lionel Richie. I can't think of any of his music, though, because his background music is keeping me from thinking about that. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll turn it off. You said L.A., so... I had to turn the background music on. So, now it's so dead. Um, so, do we have a question uh, from I the chat I think Tarosi's, no, but Tarosi's quoting Lionel Richie songs. Oh, like what? Hello. Yeah, well, th- that was probably, that was probably about the say only. Say you, say, say me, say, oh, say, say it, it together. together. All right. Naturally. Mm, that's a good song. I need some <laughs> Lionel Richie albums. Why don't we have any Lionel Richie, honey? Are you shitting me? <laughs> no, I'm really not. I mean, seriously. Are you shitting me? <laughs> no. We have Miles Davis. We have Thelonious Monk. I love Monk. Miles Davis. We I love have... Thelonious Monk. They're <laughs> Monk. Yeah. They, they are, they're not in any way the same. Anything uh, we have Coltrane, and you're asking me about Lionel Richie? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so, so, you ah! so you and Miss Burroughs must have done a reality show then. I don't know. I, we haven't, but I think we're going to have to. Yeah. If you're gonna, I'm sure she would be on board for continue that. Continue with the analogy. Did um, they have their own reality show? Yeah. Um, what was it called? Oh, oh the Simple Life. Uh, first yeah, thing. yeah, that's right. There's a there's a scene with, with the pitchfork. It's yeah, a Paris Hilton's on a Segway, like mopping a floor, a kitchen floor, uh, with a mop tied behind naked? her. <laughs> no, but she falls, and uh, yeah, not very gracefully either. I fall a lot. Who fell? We do have Paris, Paris Hilton falls off a okay. Segway in a kitchen. It's on oh, YouTube. I want a Segway. <laughs> To I'm drive not. around your house with? No. I have too many There are some segways at Burning Man. That looked like a cool way to get around. Yeah. We do have this. Oh. Back from the 80s. Wait. 
<laughs> That's what's his name. That's not Lionel Richie. That's what's yeah. his name. Yeah, but it's didn't the they do a, do a duet together? All those fuckers did a duet together in the eighties. Well, this is a this is a a multi. You're the only one that really knew me at all. So take a look at me now. Just an empty place. Not be to sing, I think. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing left here to remind me. Just the memory of your face. You're the only one who really knew me at all. So take a look at Donna Cammy now. We shouldn't be singing. <laughs> There's nothing left of this podcast to keep people listening. Exactly. The chat room's evacuating. They are. <laughs> nice. All right. Yay. Yeah. Oh, don't ever do that to me again, Dr. Normal. <laughs> Wonderful. You know, you know, I can't help singing when you put on that music. <laughs> Actually, Tarosi's going to use that as the bumper for his new podcast. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! And look, we're bumping up against an hour. Yeah, baby. Oh man, it's been just a <laughs> freaking blast. It's been I gotta say, I mean, I, I'm serious. I, we we've been waiting to have you on the show for a long time. We're <laughs> just like, I don't know I've been why. Looking forward to it. It's just been like, you know, I've been looking forward to it. We're gonna have a good time. That's all there is to it, you know. And it's just like, you know. So what else you got? As I. I think it's time for us to kind of, you know, play out. And I'm working. I'm working on it. Oh, we're supposed talk, to talk, stall. Talk. Oh, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Are there other really big ideas in Portland? What other big there's ideas? Lots of big ideas. Oh, there's there lots, lots of, of big, big ideas. ideas. <laughs> yeah. Cyber cyborg camp. Cyber camp. Cyborg yeah, camp is cyborg coming. Camp. That's a big idea. That is word camp. Word camp. That's coming up in a couple of weeks. We're going to talk about that for a whole half hour next week. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We are. And um, lots of camps else? in Portland. We like our camp. Well, it's a camping kind of a town yeah. is what it is, really. So what it, what else are you what do you got coming up this next week, Don? Uh, you know, the usual work of the the flaneur approach, really. Oh, um, Flaneur. Yeah, he's Paul taught it to me. You know, he's the only one who changed his Twitter name. Yeah. But I didn't unfollow for it because he had an <laughs> avatar that I could recognize. <laughs> and he prepared people. I think he tweeted that he's going to change. I think he did because was I wasn't like, oh, who are you? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, the, I'm serious about the continual location bit. Um, I think that will, will be You're working of, on of something, yeah. interest to a lot right. of people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it takes a back-end piece, a couple of back-end pieces, before I can even start the Android part. I would actually like to do an iPhone client, because a lot of people have iPhones. I have an iPhone. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll all have Android phones by yeah, next year, right. right? Well, yeah, or a month. Or that's two. right. That's right. So, hey, man. It's been an awesome Strange Love Live after I was Thanks. I've really had a good time. Been a blast. I have had a lovely time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Brian. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, Brian, for Thank being you. the studio audience. Woo-hoo. Thank you, chat yeah. room. Woo. Thanks, Yay. chat room. Yay. Have a great night, everybody. Sleep well. Good night. Hey, thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for joining us. And here's a little mercy, mercy, mercy. By the now defunct Pavlov's cats. Good drummer though. <laughs> Good night.